Good afternoon. Welcome to Showbiz here on Joe News. And our Ghanaian musician Samini has urged stakeholders of Ghana's creative arts industry to conduct a SWOT analysis to ascertain the industry's current state and decide the way forward. Samini made this call while delivering a speech at the inaugural presidential summit on tourism 2023 which was held under the theme, Rethinking Tourism for Economic Growth and Job Creation. Culture makes the art exist, and the art represents the culture of the people. Tourism creates the value chain and potential economic growth. Uh, because I've been to school and I've learned too much things, it's becoming books, books now. I would want to perform a SWOT analysis of the culture and arts space, where we look at our strengths, our weaknesses, our, um, our opportunities, and then our threats. Once we know our strengths and our weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, we will be able to face um, our, our challenges head on and be able to, yes, put ourselves in the right space, come up with the strategies and policies that will make us uh, come to par with the other international destinations we know of. Away from Samini, Gamma's operating license has been withheld by the Attorney General's through the Copyright Office. This announcement was made at a press conference organized by the directors of GAMRO at the Nat Hall in Accra on Thursday. In his address, the chairman of the interim GAMRO Management Committee, Rex Omar, spelled out the consequences of the revocation of the license. He said, as a result, GAMRO will not be able to distribute any collections as it is unable to follow the collection mandate until the license is renewed. We spoke to Rex Omar. Now that the license is being withheld, are you going to present any petition to the Attorney General? We have already done so. Um, you know, as we got the letter from Copyright Office, um, we have also answered um, their requirement one by one because we, we believe that um, their requirement does not hold water. and. We believe that what the law asks us to do so as to be able to continue to operate as a CMO, we've done just that. And it's the same thing we did that our license was renewed previously. So we don't understand. The law has not been changed, so we don't understand why. Um, and then if you look at the, pre, the, the conditions they're setting for us to be able to get our license, it's based on somebody's discretion or somebody's whim, which is not based on, 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 on law. So we have responded to that. So what is the ideal situation every year? What do they look out for before they renew the license for you? The license is renewed every five years. Every five years? Every five years. So it, it presupposes that if for the past five years we had done anything wrong, they would have withheld our license or long ago. It is only when the license was due to renew for the next five years that they are delaying it, withholding it, giving us uh, conditions that is not based on anything. It's, the conditions they are giving us, what they are asking us to do, we've done long ago. That they themselves, the audited report, they, they, they gave us a copy. The Gamros constitution was drawn by them. It was adopted. When it was adopted, Attorney General was represented. So why are you asking us to go back to do a new constitution or to do a new thorough audit? What are they asking us to do? You are asking us to withdraw all court cases. We haven't sent anybody to court. How do you asking us to withdraw all cases? Now, Martin Kinata, known in showbiz as Kofi Kinata, has been appointed by the SDG Advisory Unit of the Office of the President as the voice of the Ocean and Goodwill Ambassador of the Ocean. The ambassadorial role was officially conferred on him by Dr. Eugene Owusu, the Special Advisor on SDGs to President Akufuado at the end of the second day meeting edition of the National Blue Economic Summit. Here in Accra, Kofi Kinata pledged to speak at all times for the protection of the ocean in order for future generations to benefit from the blue economy. Thank you so much for this honor, Dan. As a tiny boy, a typical tiny boy, the ocean is, is nothing. Thank you so much. 
On that note, we end showbiz here on Joy News today. The small showbiz news and our subsequent bulletins, obviously.